Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to apply breadcrumbs technique to your PowerPoint slide deck. First off, what is breadcrumbs technique? It is a simple technique that is always used in web design. Let us take, for example, our presentationprocess.com site and let us see where this particular article which talks about four simple steps to create this PowerPoint wheel diagram located. You can see that there is this thing called the breadcrumbs. This tells that this article called PowerPoint wheel is located in this section called PowerPoint models which in turn is located in this section called 2007 and 2010 tutorials which is connected to our home page. So you can see that at any point of time you would be able to locate where a certain article is by using this simple technique called breadcrumbs technique. Now how does this technique apply to a PowerPoint presentation? Let us say you have a long presentation to make and your audience is growing restless because they don't know where they are in your long presentation. You can use breadcrumbs technique to give them an orientation of where they are in the entire scheme of things. Let me explain this with an example. Let us say your presentation is about business analysis where you want to talk about four interrelated factors that affect the business. And on the first orientation slide, you've used this beautiful metaphor of chain links to explain the four factors that are related to how a business functions. Now, you use this graphic to anchor the idea that there are four related factors. And from the next slide onwards, when you go into the individual sections, you use this graphic as a visual cue. For example, when you talk about the first factor, you use this particular graphic here. You can see that the same graphic is used, but then all the other links are in gray color, whereas the first link is in the red color to draw the viewer's attention and to tell them that they are in the first section. Now, when you go to the next section, you have the next link highlighted, and then in the next section, you have the third one, and in the next section, you have the fourth one highlighted. So the way to use breadcrumbs technique in your presentation slide deck is to use an orientation graphic like this and then use the individual paths to represent the individual sections in your presentation. Now this doesn't have to be anything complex. It can be a very very simple technique to achieve. Let me show you with a few examples taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. Now in case you've not already heard about this, Comprehensive All-in-One PowerPoint Bundle is a collection of more than 4,020 premium PowerPoint templates that help you to create stunning presentations in a matter of minutes even if you are a rank beginner in PowerPoint and you are super busy. I will leave a link to Comprehensive All-in-One PowerPoint Bundle in the description area below this video. So please click on the link and explore more about this beautiful product. Now, I'm going to take one example template from this particular bundle and as you can see here, we talk about overlapping relationships and this is the graphic that we can use as an orientation graphic. Now, if I want to use this graphic to mark individual sections, all I need to do is to make a copy of this by selecting these. I'm holding the shift button now and I have selected these four uh, graphics here and I'm going to press Ctrl D. Ctrl D is the shortcut for duplicate. All I have done is I have just made a copy of this particular graphic and I'm going to press Ctrl G to group it. And then I hold the shift button down as I click and drag from the corner so that I can resize this graphic to a size where I can place it in one corner of my slide. Uh, either in the top right corner, bottom right corner, etc. And once I have this reduced to a certain manageable size, then all I need to do is to ensure that all these are of the same color first. So go to shape fill and give it gray color like this. And then shape outline is also the same gray color. And now if I want to highlight just one of the rings, then I will go to that specific ring and then I give it a different color completely contrasting one like this and you can see that this is the first uh, topic that I'm talking about. Now when I want to go to the next section all I need to do is to take the same graphic 
make a copy of this and then the red colored one is now going to be reverted to black color and then the second ring here is going to be given that fancy red color so that it is clearly differentiated from the earlier one. So that is how you show the different sections to your audience with a visual cue. Now let me show you a couple more examples so that you get a clear understanding of the technique. Now this is one of the graphics that you see from our comprehensive all-in-one bundle and the way this particular graphic works is like this. Here you orient the audience by talking about the four pillars of uh, the strategy or whatever that you want to talk about. And once you got this done, then all you need to do is to remove the text items here and then resize this particular graphic and place the graphic on one of the corners like this one and you can see that this talks about the first section and for the next section this is the one third and fourth. Can you see it is fairly easy for you to create and because all these graphics are totally editable like they are in our comprehensive all-in-one bundle you would be able to resize them at will so it is a very very simple thing for you to do. Now if you want to do this yourself you can do it or you can always choose some of the ready-made templates available in comprehensive all-in-one bundle like this. For example here you see web style balanced scorecard which talks about four factors using this folder like graphic. On the first slide you talk about the first part of the folder and then you talk about the second, third and fourth tab of the folder. So whether you use ready-made options available in our comprehensive all-in-one bundle or you want to pick up any graphic of your choice and then rework the way that I showed you or you may want to create something on your own as orientation graphic and then apply the technique that I taught you. It is completely up to you but then when your presentation is really long it always helps to use breadcrumbs technique so that your audience would know where they are in your presentation structure. And as a thank you for watching this video this far, I am happy to invite you to join our email course which is extremely popular called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. This course offers you 25 practical PowerPoint ideas you can apply in your next presentation. You can join this course completely for free by clicking on the link here. So please click on the link, join the program and I will see you inside. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.